In this video, I'm going to show you how to make internet button with ESP8266 and AWS. On the button press, we will be sending email notifications. Navigate to mongoose-os.com website and scroll down to Amazon AWS Reference Projects, find Internet Button Project and click on the full tutorial link. Here's a step-by-step -step instruction. What we're gonna need is ESP8266 Node MCU board, AWS account, you have to be logged in, and I have a Gmail account opened with the notification filter from AWS. Also, we're gonna need Amazon AWS Management Utility installed. On the button press, we will be sending MQTT message to AWS MQTT server, and the rule engine on AWS IoT will forward that message to Lambda function. With Lambda function, you have full control over what happens next. But in this example, we'll be just sending emails using SNS, Simple Notification Service. So, let's start. First, you need an open terminal and clone Mongoose OS Git repository. Now go to the example directory. Then we install Mongoose OS. It's installed and you can see that LED starts blinking. Mongoose OS assigns a unique device ID to the device. Let's see what it is. It's this one. And let's copy it into a shell variable. And then set my email address. My email is Okay, now copy that cloud formation command. For that to work, you need AWS utility installed. This command started cloud stack formation. Go to the AWS console and click on cloud formation service. And you can see there is my internet button stack, creation in progress. Stack formation basically creates AWS part of the infrastructure, creates a rule, a policy, Lambda function, and sets up SNS. Okay, stack formation is complete. We should receive an email. Here it is. Click on it and confirm subscription. Okay, now let's follow the rest of the instructions. Copy init.js file and set up Wi-Fi. And now onboard ESP8266 on AWS IoT. Single command again. Done, so everything is ready. Let's start the console to see what the device is doing. And press on the button, and we should be receiving emails. Here we go. Button pressed. In this example, we are sending email messages, but we can do anything because the message arrives to the Lambda function and you have full control over what's happening there. So let's go to services. Find Lambda service. Here's the Lambda function that has been created five minutes ago. This is a Node.js application. You can see it just publishes to the SNS, but you can change it and do anything you want. 